in esi uh, thomas the most important sections that can be you know gauged from the previous year uh, question papers is the government schemes and the report section now government schemes we all know <laughs> you know it's a nightmare for some that there are so many schemes there are hundreds of schemes of different ministries different sectors you know how do i memorize so much of data how do i memorize so much of government schemes should i read the latest government schemes should i read the government schemes of past one year past two year past 20 year past 50 years what should be the timeline and how should i memorize all this data regarding government schemes so what is your answer to that comparing the difference between upsc and this uh, rbi upsc is more like they are asking the schemes that happened in like one year or two year maximum and they are uh, mainly focusing on the analytical concepts of it but when it comes to rbi sb nabard and other bank exams they are focusing more on the factual for the example they will ask you some upper age limit they will ask you the percentage of people that would be the beneficiaries of the scheme so that would be a number mm-hmm. so that is the most challenging part of this rbi etc etc mm-hmm. so and rbi also they ask schemes from 1950s 1952 57 so old schemes are also asked mm-hmm. so you need to specifically prepare for this mm-hmm. upsc preparation will not be effective initially i thought like this initially i thought yeah i know upsc so i know the government schemes and i can tackle it like this. Mm. but when i took some edit tab mock test and uh, some other mock test i found that it is not efficient mm. so at that time uh, my friend told that uh, edit tab they have is having this uh, government schemes pdf in very detail mm. and it is totally exam oriented mm. so for the government schemes section uh, alone in the csi mm. i totally relied on edit tab material mm. 